Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a video about eyebrows, that's one of the things I've been asked about, so, uh, obviously I shave my eyebrows off, um, I don't expect that's something that everyone does, uh, <laughs> um, it was something that I was quite scared to do for quite a long time because I had reasonably nice eyebrows anyway, um, anyone who's seen pictures of me, like, they were pretty much like the standard shape that most people go for um, and they were quite thick like I didn't have problems with them um, like being too thin or sparse or anything like that like I had quite a lot of eyebrow hairs um, the thing that actually spurred me on to shave them was when I bleached them because I was dressing up as Yolandi Visser from The Ant Word and um, so I bleached them to go with that look and I bleached my hair as well. I had a little bit of hair then. Um, and obviously growing out bleached brows is just really difficult and because they just grow back really strangely. I don't know, it's not like you get roots, like they grow back like one hair at a time. So you end up with like kind of multi-tonal brows, I guess, which was an interesting look to say the least. Um, so then... I guess I, I I thought maybe I should get them like dyed back to my natural colour but I prefer like I don't really like to go to like a salon and get stuff like that done like I do my hair myself I do all my makeup myself like I just like to do stuff myself so um and also like money like I'm sure I don't know how much it costs to have brows dyed but yeah I don't really like they, my brows are quite nice I'm not really sure I would want to trust someone else with them like I've never even been to a salon to like get my eyebrows plucked or anything like that like I don't really pluck them a lot anyway but if I did at all I'd do it myself um so yeah so I basically just decided to shave them off and then like let them grow back in um at some point when I decided that I wanted brows again uh so I shaved them and I actually really like it so I, I can't really see myself growing them back anytime soon but like at one point in the future then I might want to so um so that's my reason for shaving instead of waxing a lot of people ask me that as well whether I wax or shave I reckon waxing would give you like a really smooth finish um because mine grow, grow back like really quickly I mean you can actually you can see like the shadow there of where they were um and like I've shaved today so I can't feel anything there at all now um but within like a day or a couple of days you'll see stubble um so I do have to shave like pretty much every couple of days uh which I don't really mind like it's so quick to do it, it's not really a hassle like I just do it when I'm washing my face so um yeah um obviously some days I'm like I fancy having eyebrows so uh this video I've already done like three minutes just talking about eyebrows but this video is gonna be about how I do my eyebrows when I do them. Um, generally, that's what I do last in my look. So I do everything else and then I do eyebrows last. And I do feel like uh, it pulls your look together. Some people I know like to do their eyebrows first because then you can kind of judge where to put your eyeshadow. Um, but quite often I do the whole of the rest of the look and then I decide what kind of brows I want like to go with it because I don't... When I'm doing my face, I don't necessarily have an exact idea of what I want it to look like. Like, I just start and then see where it takes me. So by the end, I might be like, yeah, some really big dramatic brows would look really good with this. Or I might be like, some little short Vulcan brows would look really good. Or like, some skinny ones or glittery brows or whatever. Um, and I prefer to make that decision at the end, I think. And also, it means that when I'm starting out, I don't like confine where my eyeshadow can go up to like if I if I start and I'm like actually I want to make it more dramatic like I have space that I can go up to and I can just put the eyebrows higher up later on so um yeah so basically what I use for my eyebrows is an angled brush um like that like tiny little skinny mini angled brush this is actually a new one um and it's skinnier than the one I used to use um it's slightly purple because that's what I just did my eyes with as well um but yeah I'm gonna use that color again so it doesn't really matter so I'm using my sugar pill pro palette for this um you want I generally use eyeshadow um you can use a pencil uh 
I prefer to use shadow and an angled brush or like a cream product and angled brush and then set it with shadow. Um, just because I, I like using the brush, um, I find it gives me more a sharper definition on the edges that a pencil doesn't really give you. Um, and also like, and you have to sharpen your pencil really sharp to be able to get a good eyebrow, I find. Um, and I find that like sharpening up your pencil that much wastes a lot of product, like you're sharpening so much of it away that it just seems like a bit of a waste if you're only ever using it when it's like dead sharp. Um, so yeah, so that's my reason for using an angle brush. So all I do is I get a little bit, I don't like load my brush up loads, like just get a little bit on to start with. Um, I've got a mirror here, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it like, I'll try doing it this way. Um, no, that's way too hard. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I decide like whereabouts here I want my eyebrow to start. Normally, it's generally like about, sort of in line with like where the corner of my eye is. I mean, you can decide how far of you want it. Some people do them further out, some people do them close together. Um, just above my, um, the corner of my eye is about where my natural brow would start. So I tend to go, yeah, round about, and I, I start about the same height as my natural brow, though then I, I go up further than my normal brow would go. So, this is how I tend to do it. I just place that at the edge like that, and just, that makes a little line, and then I just drag that up, I don't know if you can see there, I drag that up, and it just fades out, and that's what I tend to start with, I tend to do that on both sides. This is another thing actually, um, a lot of people who I see on YouTube, like they do one eye and then they do the other eye, like when they're doing that eyeshadow as well, um, I don't tend to do that, I tend to do both at the same time, because I find that, um, well, for one thing, if I run out of time, at least both my eyes look the same, so if I have to dash out the door and I have, like, at least I don't have one fully done eye and the other one, like, not finished, um, at least they're both equally unfinished and I can just throw some lashes on or whatever and pretend that's what I intended. Um, but also just getting things even, I find easier when you're doing them both at the same time, so I'll put, like, a bit of eyeshadow here, a bit of eyeshadow there. Yeah, like... Yeah, I find that easier. So, but so I tend to do each side of my eyebrow, starting it like this, and I rest I rest my hand on my cheek so I can get steady. This part is quite difficult actually. Uh, it's like the angle. I don't always get that angle exactly the same. That's about even in terms of like how high up they are. I think. So once I've got that little gradient bit, I get a little bit more powder on my brush. I work with like the tiniest bit of powder on my brush so that I don't, um, I do it quite lightly and then I can always go in and correct mistakes if I need to or go in and like make it darker. Um, it's just easier if you've only got a little bit on your brush, you can be more precise. Um, yeah, so then I tend to, um, twist my brush so instead of laying it flat that way, I'll use, um, like the end, the edge of it, um, and go across from the top of the brow and up and then arch it down and I do that in one like that's quite easy I find to do that in one smooth motion um, that was something I was scared about when I first shaved them was like how am I gonna am I gonna be able to do it easily is it gonna be easy to draw on brows because I'd never done it before um, as you can see that's quite high up but that gives you so much room for eyeshadow. Like, look at all that space. That's, like, a huge amount of space. Um, and yet it still looks, like, not natural, but, like, um, it still kind of goes with my face shape and, like, my bone structure. Um, also, I find that because I'm going right up over my brow bone, that this bit, sometimes you don't even need to highlight this bit because that my brow sticks out there. I mean, you can see here on the curve of my face that my brow sticks out there, so... Um, yeah, like it catches the light, which I find looks, I find that looks nice. Um, yeah, so then the other one, the same thing, basically. I don't know how I get them even, like, I think it's just practice and just, like, 
rather than going right up and just looking at one eye in the mirror like this, I tend to like stay quite out from the mirror so that I can see where I'm going, so. Second one is always a little bit harder. Just because you've got something that you're trying to match it with. So let's have a look. I mean, that that's pretty even. I think this one might be slightly higher. Um... So, but that's okay, like, I'll just make this one slightly higher, like, it's pretty a fluid um, method, I think, that I use. So I don't worry about, like, making mistakes, I just work with what I've got. So there, I've thickened that one up a little bit. So now, thicken the other one up a little bit. I, I think something that's uh, inspired me, I guess, or influenced the way I do my makeup is I, I watch a lot of drag tutorials and, like, RuPaul's Drag Race or whatever, all that kind of stuff. Um, I love drag makeup. Uh, sorry, just trying to concentrate there. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, something that's influenced me is I was watching, I can't even remember who it was now, but I was watching a drag tutorial and they said, like, when you're putting your makeup on, never take it off. Like, if you make a mistake, just work with what you've done. And I think that's... That's something that I, I really... I think that says a lot, like, about makeup and about what it is. Like, it is just makeup. You're just playing. Like, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, really. It's not the end of the world, like, just work with it. Um, and I think that applies to a lot of things in the rest of life as well. Um, if you make a mistake, you have to live with that and you have to just make things better. Rather than, you can't do anything over in life, can you? So, yeah. Wow, Rowan gets deep sometimes. So, yeah, um, you can kind of see what I've done there. I mean, the way that the brush is angled means that you get a bit of a gradient going down. Um, most people who do brows, I know, do a gradient like going up, so you'd have it darker at the bottom. Obviously, that's normally if you've got actual real brows, because that makes it look like that's the shadow. I tend to just do like block, one block colour. Sometimes I'll do a gradient from the middle. Um, another thing is that a lot of people are like, oh my god, you have to fade your brows out in the middle, so it like fades to nothing. Which, yeah, does look more natural, but I, I don't know, I tried that and it kind of made me look like I had a mono brow because it made it look like the two brows were going to attach to each other. And I didn't really like that look, so it looks nice on other people. Um, maybe I just haven't mastered that yet. Um, but yeah, so then, yeah, I just basically fill this in. Um... I guess it requires a quite a steady hand, but uh, I guess I have quite a steady hand. Um, a note about the shape is that here, like, this actually comes down a little bit more than I normally do. Um, quite often I'll do it going out. I tend to... I don't think it matters if the edge of the eyebrow is lower than the middle, because quite often real eyebrows are. Um, but if you if it comes down at too much of an angle I think it looks weird I think it needs to come out like in the direction of your ear I guess rather than like in the direction of your cheek um I see a lot of girls as well like I do my eyebrows like quite big like long um you don't have to do them long but I think the direction they have to come out because it just makes your face look more streamlined rather than if they go down, that doesn't go with, like, most people's bone structures don't go down. Like, your cheeks come up, your eyes go out, it just lifts your whole face. Like, your eyebrows can do so much to lift your whole face. Um, and if you bring it down here, like, you see people who do their eyebrows like this, and, like, this short, and then they curve down at the edge of their eye. I'm like, you've carved all of that space here. Like, that's where you want space to make, it just makes your face look nicer. Um, I mean, people can do their brows however they want, but that's my personal opinion. <laughs> but yeah, so, like, 
you can see I'm just filling this in here. Sorry that my mirror is like over there, it's really... I can do it in like this, but it's just harder, I guess. And thicken is that as the same thing? Oh, this one's not actually as long, is it? Okay. I probably made it longer now, but it doesn't really matter. Um, another thing, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. They don't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, your face moves so much that n you, no one's ever going to look at you like dead on, like straight on, like that. Like, no one ever does. Everyone always sees you from this side or that side or, like, a different angle. So if there's a tiny little thing, no one is going to notice. And if they do, it's just your eyebrows. It doesn't matter. Like, your natural eyebrows aren't even. Why should your drawn-on eyebrows be? So, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty happy with these, actually. Just going to make that arch a bit more. Oh, oh, I might have ruined it now. I've ruined it, look, because this is thicker, and this should be the thickest bit in the middle, shouldn't it, really? That's okay, I will just thicken that up. Oh, I don't really like coming that close to the screen, because you can see how bad my skin is. <laughs> I really... Well, my camera just died. Um. Anyway, as I was saying, um... I, I think I've actually just like finished the eyebrows when the camera wasn't filming but as I was saying about my skin um, I have really bad skin because I don't take care of it that much because uh, it's just doesn't really matter everyone gets blemishes models get spots and blemishes and wrinkles and dry patches and all of those kinds of things so like no one's gonna I if someone judges you for that, that's that shouldn't be someone who you care about their opinion anyway, because um I'm sure like everyone gets those kinds of things. I think if you if you judge someone else for that, like that's just I think it reflects badly on yourself and your what bad opinion you must have of yourself if you think that like having bad skin or being overweight or underweight or ugly in whatever way <laughs> um if you think that reflects badly on someone as a person i think you must think that those things reflect badly on you as well and i think that's quite a sad place to be sad way to think about yourself um yeah i like to think that i mean obviously everyone has things that you're like oh this is not attractive about me or that isn't attractive about me like my eye bags like look at this like puffy as hell but and that's a bit annoying but it doesn't reflect badly on me like my eye bags are not me are they they're not who i am um my makeup is me to an extent um because your face is just what you're born with like you can't help your face can you um in terms of makeup though like and clothes i guess like you can look however you want um and makeup is amazing that it can change how you look like literally you can change the shape of your face like i do not have these i have fairly good cheekbones but like they don't look as good as they look now just because i've contoured and highlighted and enhanced what i already have um but even if i didn't do that like i think everyone is still like beautiful inside and out like well not everyone's beautiful on the inside but <laughs> the majority of people like i do see the good in people so this has got quite like deep and yeah, um, <laughs> when I was just talking about eyebrows, but um, having said that, I do judge people on their eyebrows, like not in a serious, harsh way, but um, just like if you don't care about your eyebrows and you don't do your eyebrows, then that's absolutely fine and that's up to you. Um, and so I don't like blame you for having like dodgy eyebrows or like crazy eyebrows or no brows or whatever brows but if you are trying to do your eyebrows and you just do them like in some way that doesn't flatter your face it just bugs me like so much um which i know is really bad um and <laughs> yeah but yeah you know like i, I just Whenever I meet new people, I'm always, like, checking out their brows. Like, does she have good brows? Does he have good brows? I don't know, like... 
that's just a thing of mine that I like to look at people's brows and it's interesting as well just to see like how they grow like I'm interested in that interested in strange things clearly anyway I am running out of space on my camera so I'm gonna go now and um, this has been another really long video um but yeah I hope that's been informative interesting um or something like that. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. I mean, these are the final brows. Um, pretty decent, I think. Um, you can kind of see, actually, that they, they do follow the natural shape of my brow. They're just slightly higher up. The arch is higher. Um, yeah. So there we go. See you next time. Bye!